Hi. Um, today I'm doing a veggie burger. And as you see, so it's a Boca Original Vegan Meatless Burger. So I'm just showing you how I uh, make this. It is absolutely delicious. Each burger has uh, 13 grams of protein. So um, that's pretty, uh, pretty great. So I'm doing a Boca burger, Boca vegan burger. It's the time I'm starting. It was, let's say it was about 12.05 because I did cut the onion and started the onion uh, frying before I started taping. So I'll say 12.05, end time. We'll see what that is. And I use a few things on my burgers, and they are just delicious. Uh, I use whole wheat bread, which has a lot of uh, protein in it itself. You can use buns or whatever you want. There's mustard, pickle. I use a little olive, oil, a little oil in, in the, with the onions. I happen to like uh, mayonnaise with my veggie burgers, so I use the veganaise, which is. Uh, you cannot tell the difference. I use hot peppers. So these are just the condiments that we use. And um, you'll see how easy this is. So I brown these. That's just a personal touch. Some people like to um, have raw onions. So uh, two of these come together. I'm going to do both because uh, my husband and I are both going to eat it. I'll add a little bit of oil. And it's about 12.14 when these are started. They're frozen patties and uh, they cook just as long as everything else uh, that might be frozen. But I just want to show you how easy this is. Yes, yeah, so one burger is about 13 grams of protein. The protein question always comes up with vegan meals. And I suggest you go to the Physicians Committee on Responsible Medicine dot o r g. They have a website and they have a um, formula calculation there, how to find out how much protein we should have. And uh, if I recall, it's the body weight times point zero point three six gives you the number of grams of protein that you should have every day approximately. And that puts that to rest, the, the protein question, because with meat that's always what comes up. You know, I need my protein. Well, you're getting plenty of protein in various uh, plant-based meals. So um, this is not a how-to as much as just to show you how easy and delicious it, it is. I'm going to let these fry a bit and I'm going to turn the camera off. It's 12.15 and I'm just going to get my condiments ready, but I'm just going to let these fry off camera. 12.15, I'm turning the camera off. So with this, I've uh, turned it over once. And we are going to have... Um, vegetarian baked beans which are delicious and these are just going to continue to fry but I just wanted to show you so I opened a can of plain vegetarian baked beans and I'm going to heat it up in the microwave and you can also heat it up on the stove top but what I want to emphasize about this meal is that people go out for burgers a lot, and this meal will come to, I think this was uh, four something. There are four burgers in here, so that's about a dollar a piece. And all of these things you have at home. So you're going to have a great meal, uh, let's say for two dollars a piece. And I just don't think you can beat that. And people always you know, want to save their time and do stuff. Um, it's, I, again, I really don't think you can beat this, especially since you're going to have 
completely the choice of all the veggies you want on top. Some people like lettuce and onions and various things. So you really have your choices here. And if you're a, a mayonnaise person, then uh, again, even with a veggie burger outside, you, you wouldn't be able to get this veggie and mayonnaise, which is delicious. So it's 12.19, I'm going to keep letting these cook. I'm going to put this in the microwave and um, and then I'll start to dress the uh, bread in this case and you might use buns. 12.19, I'm turning this off. Okay, so it's 12.22. I'm going to put this down here and start dressing the bread. Always use a clean utensil to get something out of a jar because you're going to put it back in the fridge for a long time and you don't want to contaminate it with uh, stuff by putting it back in there. So now I haven't contaminated it and I'll just close it up and put it back in the fridge. And that's great seed, vegan A. There are a few other brands, but it's delicious, made from grape seed. And the vegetarian baked beans are it can be gotten anywhere. And then this I just want to show one more Boca Original Vegan Meatless Burgers. So this is mine, that's my husband. So he likes this. I like that. Plain old mustard. I like hot peppers. So I'll just take one of these out, sprinkle it on. Uh, we both like plain relish, clean utensil. the baked beans are done. I'm going to flip this one more time. So I, uh, I cut these uh, tomatoes, but I tend to cut them again so that uh, when you bite into the sandwich it's easy. I, I only use fresh tomatoes for salads or something like this. All my other tomatoes I use from cans. Here are the fried onions. If you wanted regular onions, you would um, just put them on now. And I tend to uh, cut this first. So I don't squish it all down. Then cut that. Cut that. Now there are plenty of uh, vegan cheeses on the market that you could use. Uh, I just never, we have never been cheeseburger type people. So here are two delicious sandwiches. Juicy and ready to go. Completely vegan. Here's the, the uh, baked beans, and here's some kettle cooked potato chips. 
after this meal, I say, cost really less than two dollars, and it's totally compassionate, and uh, you've got quite a bit of protein in that, 13 grams in the one burger, and you also have protein in the uh, beans and in the wheat, whole wheat. So all that's missing now is some ketchup, which we put on at the end. So I just want to note here, so it's 12.27, and all the stuff I had in my fridge and the uh, Boca burgers I had ready in the freezer, and so the end time is, let's say, 12.30, so that's about 25 minutes. And you have at least uh, 13 grams of protein in this. And it costs, I'd say, less than $2, but woo-woo, let's say $3 per person. And that's a pretty delicious meal. So I hope you do it too and let me know about it. And that can be at night or in the, in the afternoon. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.